What's up guys and welcome back to Occupy Mars. Our first episode ended with a big explosion. Our whole community is gone. We took an escape pod now. I think we're on our own. So launch escape procedure has been completed. Emergency power generator and oxygen generators are active. Comms are down. Nearby we've got underground ice, abandoned buildings, and a small vehicle. The alpha base has critical damage, radiation, and no information on survivors. Caution, this escape pod is designed only for short-term survival, so these probably won't work forever. Lockers contain basic building materials and food rations sufficient for a few days. Recommend construction of well for water and solar panel for spacesuit recharging. Emergency access to technologies bond your experience may be temporarily granted. Obtain necessary permissions and confirm through the tech tree ASAP. It's mandatory to read the fact ERA is not liable for any injuries or death. Lawsuits won't be respected. Okay, so basically, we are on our own. We've got a couple of med kits. We've got, you know, survival uh, things here. We've got oxygen production. Is this our... This is a 3D printer, it looks like. Okay, that's kind of cool. Uh, we've got... Things up here, glass plates. So we've got a bunch of resources in here. Aluminum plates, steel plates. We've got a, some small pipes. Processed food is obviously a, a good thing to have. We've got solar cells. Those are gonna be good. Cement. So we've got, oh, pack of screws. Obviously, every single one of these things is gonna be paramount to our survival here. So we've got enough resources to maybe kind of start got some small engines it looks like we've got tools down here so we've got seed magazines okay got a blowtorch got a planting tool so we could eventually start planting things spectral detector water detection machine that's good we've got cables other cables we've got a jackhammer I don't know what we... Oh, probably for mining. Obviously, mining is a big thing here. And then we've also got this guy here, which I believe this is for destructing things like this here. It says scrap. Maybe we don't want to scrap that. Okay. Probably don't want to scrap our... Oh, that, that's a carbon dioxide bottle. Beautiful. We've got a tablet here. We could pick that up. Got some... Oh, that's our 3D printer. I, th I think once we have materials, we could put that in the printer to be able to make things and then pick things up there. We got a couple of med kits. I mean, probably grab one and leave the other ones where we know where they are. I don't want to overload our inventory here, but taking our first steps out into this gorgeous red planet. Oh, we've got a base over there. We've obviously got a base close right here. We want to follow our survival procedures so it said that we wanted to um it said that we wanted to find water as well as set up a a solar panel to be able to charge our suit so i'm gonna put some of these here i'm gonna say building tools probably number one destruction tool number two let's get that big water finder thing oh jackhammer three spectral detector we'll put on six i'm imagining we're not gonna have to use this too often right how do we, oh, over here, 100 meters away. Nice, nice and close. So this is gonna be our source of water, it looks like. We've honestly got a, a pretty nice flat area for a base here to be able to work with. It's like the darker colored rock and, and dirt is, is a source of water. Best water bearing place found, build a well. So we're gonna want to go into our uh, blueprints resources is this a well here we need small pipes aluminums we've got everything that we you know need i'm going to place this down and then we're going to want to get our blowtorch out and let's go ahead and set it up nice little you know I've, I've toast some things for cocktails with a little butane torch like this looks like we can build wells on mars with it as well very diverse tool that we can can use beautiful okay oh the well's got a solar a solar thing on it. Nice. Let me see. So in the tutorial, it was really interesting. Like the, the energy and electricity and stuff is, is honestly pretty realistic. Uh, you can see here it's producing six liters of water an hour. It's storing them as well. It's also producing five kilowatt hours of energy and using five kilowatt hours of energy. Um, so we can fill our water bottle. We don't have any bottles to fill, but we've, we've got, we've got water. That's great. 
The other thing it said to do was to build the solar panel, right? I don't really know. Do we want to keep everything? I'm imagining we want to stay fairly close to the water. So I'm going to put our first solar thing right here. If we go into our blueprints, electricity, we're going to look for a solar panel. We've got enough materials for that. And I mean, I, I have no clue what to do. Do we want to? Do we want our solar close or far? We're we're gonna put it close for now, but I'm envisioning eventually we could probably make like kind of a solar farm type scenario, keep it a little bit further away, connect things with cables. But with this, we're at least gonna be able to charge our suit. Now, my biggest question: got a technological survival point? Open sockets. How do we charge our suit? Replenish. Suit battery charged to 93. Oh, so we just plug into it. Back to 100%. Beautiful. Okay. So that was much needed right there. My biggest question is, are we going to be able to use... I kind of want to go check this out. My biggest question is, what are we going to do about nighttime? It's currently 1138 on Thursday. Obviously, we're feeling good so far. But the night's going to come quickly. And I don't think we're going to be in good shape if we don't have any... Uh, maybe we can hop back in our survival pod. We, I think we're... You know, shelter. We've got water. We've got a little bit of food. Food is going to be a problem. We're going to have to start farming. But uh, shelter is going to be very important. Wow, look at all these... All these water containers. Can I scrap these? We can scrap these for more materials. So we're going to find... Did we get anything from that? Aluminum plates and a small pipe. Ooh. Upgrade your grinder to be able to grind this object. Okay, so we can't... We can't scrap this. We need to upgrade it, but we can scrap the little things. So we're going to be able to find abandoned bases, I'm assuming, and then, you know, they're going to be a good source of resources. For now, we can at least scrap the little things. Can we go inside? What do we have going on here? Got a manual lever. Oh, gosh. I mean, this, this is a little bit concerning. Where are we going to get oxygen? We need to find an oxygen generator, too. Oh, this is kind of making the hairs on the back of my neck stand up. We've got a small engine. I'm going to pick these up. Does this just go back outside? Or is this... We're we going deeper. We need to build something. It goes back outside. We're going to come back inside here. We need to build something. Ooh. Backpacks? Can I... Can I equip that? I can't equip that. Oh, we've got MREs on the floor. Open this up. Small circuit board. I'm just going to grab everything we can in this room to start things off. I mean, we technically can scrap all these things, right? I don't know if it's worth our time currently. I am... Oh, we, we got processed food, circuit boards, pack of screws. We, we did the whole shelving unit there and everything on it. I don't know if we're appropriately using our time here. I, I think building a... a you know, habitat to survive in is the most important. If we can get something that's running off of solar, has some batteries to store some energy, can keep the right temperature and give us food and water. Well, not food, but water and oxygen at least. Probably best case scenario. Okay. I'm going to open all these. Circuit board. Nothing in that one. Nothing in that one. Not really a whole lot left behind for us here, huh? Another circuit board. Nothing in there. We can open this up. Another circuit board there. I mean, this... Upstairs, maybe? This... Ooh. Found some electronics. Found some books. Some monitors. Not going to be able to do anything with that. Got a Rubik's Cube over here. Lots of boxes. Found a tool. Tablet. Some things you can pick up. Other things you can't. There's hoses. I mean... Pipes and things. Is there anything good in here? Got a tech point. Okay, we're getting lots of things. Let's take a look at our tech tree here. What's our next objective? I'm not even sure if we check messages. I don't know what the survival procedures are. Where do we see the survival procedures? Okay, I think we probably want to just get out of here for now. I'm, I'm getting nervous. Um, we're, we're just going to try to get out of here. We're going to go back. I I think we've got some skill points and things we can spend. Okay, so this this is just one. It's one small base, and it's got the four the four doors on each side. I'm going to go back here. I did notice we have a, a water bottle in our inventory. So if I put this on five, and then I re- 
replenish the water. There we go. Water has been refilled. And now I, I put the H2O thing back here. We should be okay, right? So that, that refilled our water. Our water thing is working. Now we also have, if we go into our tech tree, we've got no botany points, but we do have an electricity point. We've got base electricity right now, and it looks like we can move up. Um, but we need to get the workshop first, and we do have a technology point. So we're going to be able to unlock the workshop. Beautiful. And then we're going to be able to get this. And then we're going to be able to get the transformer ECU electricity. over here in electricity. Interesting. We're going to be able to get a pump, CO2 scrubber, small corridor. Over here in electricity, we can get lithium ion batteries, workbenches, all kinds of things. We've got to move through here and we're going to be able to unlock various things. I don't I don't know what our most important thing is, though. It says that we're supposed to follow the survival protocol. I don't know what the, the protocol is. We can make an airlock. We can make a ramp. We can make solar panels, lights, and transformers. I'm not really sure. I mean, is that just to like power an entire base? We've got wells. We don't have anything in food. We do have a workshop. That's in living. Workshop wouldn't be bad. Main hab HQ. We've got a plant incubator and a small hydroponic shelf. No corridors, no garage. I'm wondering if living might be be okay oh wow yeah this thing is is huge i'm gonna put our living quarters over here near the water and we're gonna build this entire thing with just a little blowtorch i love it <laughs> it's gonna take a, a hot minute but we're building a work can we sleep with the workshop is this like our, our first thing and then we're gonna be able to build off of it it looks like we've got you know areas for building pathways and hallways and ramps and things we might have built this a little bit a little bit close to our solar panel, but that's okay. We're close to the water. We're close to our emergency vehicle. It's it's going to be okay. Wow. So we're going to need to build airlocks too, all right? Workshop is done. We got to power this bad boy, right? Oxygen connect plug, water connect plug. This is actually fairly close. Can the, can the plugs go that far? I'm going to take an electricity cable. We grab the other end. We should be able to plug this into our solar. And is that going to give this thing power? I mean, power obviously would be a, a big deal. Oh, it needs more power. This only gives five and it, it needs more than that. Do we, can, we, can we build a second? I'm so confused. So I think my face cam shut off back there, but uh, I've been going through the menus, dude. This, this game is deep. There's like a whole fact here with so many things that you can look at. But um, I think we just need more power. And obviously to get more power... We did just unlock the transformer in our tech tree. So I believe we're gonna wanna build that and that should allow us to get the 15 kilowatt hours that we need to be able to power this big bad boy right here. So I'm gonna say, let's put, we're gonna keep it close to this, but we're gonna have to put airlocks on each side of this. I'm gonna say, let's put maybe up here, go into our blueprints, electricity. We've got this transformer. Now, how do we, can you rotate this? That didn't that didn't really rotate, but that's fine. Okay, we're we're gonna be good to go. We're gonna want to get our blowtorch out. Let's build this here. It's gonna get us some electricity XP. I think the whole thing is like earn XP, you get the next level of items, you add those items to your base, and you just kind of keep moving forward. So we've got this here. I feel like this probably isn't the best spot for this. I'm gonna actually take this down. We've got our cable here as well. I'm gonna make sure we pick this up. And then we're gonna make kind of like a, a little solar field right here. So I think we can have, yeah, four inputs on this. I remember this from the, uh, the tutorial. So I'm gonna make four solar panels out here, away from the shadows, away from anything. They're gonna be in direct sunlight the whole time. And then we should be able to take, that's 20 kilowatt hours. So that's, you know, five more than we actually need. But at least it puts us in a good spot. So we're going to put, uh, I don't know how, how do you s turn things? I guess we'll do it like this. One, two, three, and four. All right. So we've got our first little solar field here. I'm imagining we're going to be able to upgrade the uh, efficacy of these things as we go but it's it's a good start and i think i mean every time we build something we're getting xp every time we disassemble something we're getting xp so that might even be a bit of a uh 
bit of a hack we could do is, is just, you know, kind of build and destroy things. I, I don't know if the game would catch on to that or not, but um, this is going to give us 20... Got a tech advancement point. 20x or 20 kilowatt hours going into our thing. And then do we have... This might be giving us too much. Oh, we've got four outputs. Okay. And then I think you can link transformers. Uh, to be honest, I'm not 100% sure, but we're going to pretend like I know exactly what I'm talking about. So we've got these cables on five. We're going to be able to plug these in on that end. And then we're, oh, okay, getting, getting caught. Then we're going to be able to plug it into that. I wonder if we could charge our suit just off of the... Uh, the transformer, I think we could. Second one here. Third one is going in. I really love how these cables are basically endless. Look at this, it looks like a short cable, right? Nope. We're just gonna be able to keep walking. We can retract them. We can expand them. NASA's been been hard at work. They have a, uh, a lot of, of technology they've developed. So we've got that. Now in here, you can see we've got a bunch of, of panels coming in and we have nothing going to the output. So I'm going to turn this all the way off, this all the way off, and then we're going to turn this up to 15 kilowatt hours, which is exactly what our other base is asking for. And then we can take another plug here. And we're going to be able to plug this directly in here. And now if we take a look at this, I don't even think we have to click on it. I think you could, you could see it down the bottom. Oh, we got it. I think we have to turn this on. Is this on? Oh shoot, it's getting dark. Oh no. Oh, it's gonna get cold. It's gonna get cold. This should be working, right? It, we've, we've got green. Circuit breakers are there. Breaker is on. Can we add any more breakers? No. It's not... I think it, I think it might be working. It, it, we, we should be good. Okay. Um... I, I, we kind of failed a little bit here. I mean, let's, let's hurry up. If we go in, I, we're going to need an airlock to get into this, obviously. So let's, um, and our, our blueprints, blueprints, we're going to look for airlocks. We're going to need an airlock. And I think we need a double airlock. I remember reading like a, a, a tutorial type thing. I'm going to put it on this side. It said that you can potentially explode if you don't have a double airlock. Cause you kind of need like, you know, one to the outside and then a second one inside to be able to pressurize I we're just going to do a double and, and hope for the best here. Throw these on here. This one gets kind of close to our, our water area. I don't know if we're going to be able to build much over to our left. So might as well make this the entrance. So we've got a double airlock here. We should... We can jump up there, but I think... Don't we have a... We have a ramp, I'm pretty sure. In the same area. Yeah, ramp. Bam, there it is. All right. Now we're going to be able to... Throw this guy in here. Are we going to have this? This is the big thing. Are we going to have a place that we can sleep? I'm also a little bit worried. I think we, I mean, we're not, we're not low pressure wedding equalizing. Okay. It is, it is a dark, a dark thing here. We've got no exterior O2. We're hungry. We are hydrated. So that's good. Our suit O2 is looking solid so far. This isn't going to give us a place to sleep or anything, though. Can we turn this thing on? Why? It's negative 7 degrees Celsius in here. Why is this thing... I mean... We don't have power right now. Because we don't have a battery. That's probably why. It's nighttime. There's no sun on our solar panels, which means we're not powering this thing. Okay. I mean, it, it's, 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 a, it's a start. Suit power is dropping. I hope we can make it through the night. I probably should have thought about, you know... Recharging up before our first night. No low carbs. Okay, we're we're gonna go back. We we do have. Oh gosh, it's really dark out here, dude. <laughs> oh no. Do we have food in here? I know we had food in the thing, right? I think we picked it up though. Seed magazines. We don't want to mess with those. Cements. Processed food. So we can consume this. And that's going to take us up to a 65% hunger. Okay. It's negative 29 degrees outside. I'm going to go. Let's refill up our water. Our water was over here somewhere, right? Oh, gosh, dude. I need like a tether. I need to plug like a cable in. I think we could see on our radar. If I plugged a cable, it's over to our right. If I plugged a cable in, I could follow it to be able to get back. It is so dark out here. I wish you could refill your, your water without or with it being Dehydration. on your... We're going to be fine. We're going to replenish this. 
Water filled up, water filled up, water, water filled up, refilled. water filled up. I wish, like, you can't refill it if it's not, if it's, you know, applied there, which is kind of silly. So H2O, throw that back. We've got that nice and uh, and full. We could probably think about getting a, a cup, ooh, significant temperature drop in one hour. I don't know what we're going to do. Can we sit in our workshop? We, we're going the right way, right? Yeah. I, I kind of, I wonder, I wonder if our, our, the thing. So it's it's negative 39 out here. If we go just inside our airlock, negative 41. Let's open this up though. It's negative 28 in here. We gotta go. I, I think I think we might need to go to our, our life pod. We're gonna have to run. We're gonna have to run. Run. Is it over here? Is that it? Oh gosh. We check our radar. Yep. That's it, right in front of us. Go, 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 go. Run to it, run to it. Can we shut the door on this? This did have batteries. I don't know if we need to power it or anything. Open this up. See, it, it's, got a, it's got an input. It's got an input there. It told us that it had limited batteries. Shut this. What's the temp in here? Shut it. 21 degrees Celsius. Do we have, and we've got oxygen in here, so we're gonna take our helmet off. Oh my goodness. Okay, I didn't know we could do that. We've got med kits in here. I think we had more food. I remember, what what were these things again? We can fill our oxygen bottle in here. So if we take this off, put this on, then we should... We produce 5.4 liters an hour. We can fill our oxygen bottle. Do we need to... Oh, pick it up here. What is this? What's in our hand? That's our oxygen bottle. We want to pick that up. Okay. So we can keep we can keep our oxygen bottles filled from in here. We can take our helmet off in here. I don't can we recharge our suit in here? I know we have this 3D printer. So we can make first aid kits, some materials and things. Not a whole lot yet, but we can we can start to get their ATV crate with silicone, aluminum, and iron. That sounds pretty good. Helmet repairing kit, uranium rods. ATV rocket engine. That actually sounds pretty good too. I wonder how we get an ATV. It, it, can, can you get the ATV from the crate? Obviously going to be able to find more blueprints and things as we go. So we've, we've got that. What else are we, what else are we missing in here? Is that it? Can we, we can sleep in here too. We can fall asleep in the chair. That, that you beautiful little escape pod. Just letting me survive. We were going to be in a lot of trouble otherwise. We were not gonna make it. I, I, I mean, we might have been able to survive in the workshop, but that, that was close. It, it is a good thing that we had this. I just want to make sure that we aren't missing anything here. Okay, so I think our best case scenario is gonna be to go to bed. I, I think we, you know, regain next, next time. Maybe like a, I mean, it's it's 34 right now. Let's get a nice eight hours of sleep. So I'm, I'm going to wake up at 8, 840. Uh, we're going to regain tomorrow. And I, I think I don't have enough water to sleep that many hours. What do you mean? We have plenty of water. I thought we refilled the water. Uh, can we, uh, how long can we sleep? I, I mean, can we go like, can we go a few hours? Maybe like till 5 a.m.? We've got enough till 5 a.m. Making me a little bit nervous here, but... I think tomorrow the focus needs to be, oh, this is cool. It is so dark out here. We need to, power, 50%. suit power is at 50%. We're going to have to upgrade that. Where's our water at? I feel like we had enough water to sleep that many hours. Where's, where's our like energy, our stamina and tiredness? I don't see where we need, need to sleep. It's still going to be really cold outside. We need to sleep at least until the sun's up. Maybe like a, a 7 a.m. Like, come on, let's, let's not sleep in too late but let's make sure that we can get some warmth but yeah our, our thing needs to be shelter we we now have a shelter so that's good oh, didn't want to want to oversleep there let's make sure we put our helmet back on and then we're, we're gonna head outside but we need shelter we need water we have and we need food those are the biggest things so i think shelter i'd like something a little bit bigger if we can get it if we can you know well we can go maybe see if our our Workshop is powered and things. It's it's a long day ahead of us, but um, you know we're gonna make sure we have our our important items covered. Why are we losing health? Is it? Oh, it's it's still negative forty outside. Okay, yep. I'm I'm gonna get back inside. They didn't tell us this in the 
safety briefing and the tutorial and the training and everything else, but it's it's difficult. It, it's hard to survive on my, it's negative 40 outside right now where it's 21 degrees in this tiny little escape pod. We're, we're just standing in here watching our resources, you know, deplete themselves and, and hoping that we can go outside when the weather fixes itself. Negative 33 now when we open this door. I don't, I don't think that's, that's too bad. Okay, we could survive negative 33. Let's go. All right, so back to the races. Last episode, we started building our workshop here. It wasn't powered though. The first thing I want to check is, is this thing getting power? And why is it not if it isn't because it should? I think we have power. Yeah, okay. Because that thing opened up by itself. Let's go. So we've got power in our workshop. It's 10 degrees in here. It's livable. It's passable. We're in good shape. Now, I think the, the biggest things we want to do today is let's make sure that we have enough food and water. We've got shelter, but we need food and water. Now, water we already have, but I'm wondering, because I did, I, I saw, I saw an out, an outspout here. Water We're going to fill up our water there. We've got water and gas cables here. So if we plug a water cable into the outspout. I think there's a water thing on the side of our workshop and we're at least going to have water in there. There's also an oxygen option. This is the oxygen connect plug. I'm not sure how to get oxygen, but we now have water running to our workshop. Now, is there anything that we can do to, to actually refill our water bottle in here? I'm not sure. We do have this. So we've got, we, we can place structures in here and I'm assuming that this is where we can put like tables and maybe even plants and stuff. You can see we've got hookups on every side. I don't see that we can refill our water in here, but we should be good to go right now. We've got full water, full oxygen. Suit battery needs a bit of a charge. Can I get a charge from this guy? Can I get a Hoya? We cannot, oh, no. I, I, no, okay. We, we, we could just unplug one of these. If we unplug that, drop it, and then just stick our finger in there, we're going to be able to charge our suit battery up. I really like how the suit battery it has on the backpack there. You could see like the, you could see the green there. That, that displays your battery as you're walking around in third person. So let's get this thing all the way up. Don't want to end up losing that through the night when it drops down. Suit's been recharged. We could throw this back on there. Okay, so... We've got water, kind of. Now the entire game stems off of these skill trees and these, I, I feel like, you know, the, the tutorial or the, the direction it gives you, there's not a lot. You can kind of build your own uh, adventure here. But as these solar rays are charging, we're actually getting points. We have another point here. So like we can get, oh, oh, we need this blueprint. We can't get that. We can get a, a workbench right now or we can get lithium ion battery. So the workbench is irreplaceable we can't, when we can't count on the delivery of spare parts. It makes it possible to repair damaged PCB boards. So that's good. Going to be able to fix circuitry and things. I don't have anything that I necessarily need for that right now. It looks like that's a very short tree too. This is huge. Lithium ion battery pack. So last night, part of the problem was Technology access level increased. our workshop. For technological advancement. There's a battery upgrade, large accumulator upgrade, et cetera, et cetera. Our workshop was not getting power through the night because we didn't have a sun up in the sky, obviously. So if we go in and we put a battery in between our, you know, electricity and the actual workshop itself, then I think we're going to be able to have battery through the night, a battery pack between the, the workshop and the transformer. So I'm going to put this here. We're going to be able to build a giant battery pack and then we're going to be able to feed through that into the workshop. And then like, I, I think we could put plants and stuff in the workshop. Then I think our, our plants won't die during the night because they're going to be getting power at all times. If this can survive the night, I'm not sure if we're going to be able to have enough. I'm not sure if we're going to have an, enough power built up, but we'll see. So let me see what we've got going on here. So we're going to put power in. We're going to put power out to 15. Let me just make this a little bit quicker. Power out to 15, but this thing, I think we only had 15 power going out. So we're going to want to put 100% 
into the battery pack here. So we're putting 20 kilowatts, five from each of these into this, and then we're, we're basically charging this at five kilowatts an hour and, and putting 15 out to the thing. And actually, since we're not really using the workshop right now, let's just get the, the battery pack up to 180 kilowatt hours. And then throughout the night, we can set it to spin 15 and we should be good. I mean, nighttime was probably like 12 hours. So 15 times 12 is about 180 kilowatt hours. So yeah, as long as that thing can charge during the day, it's gonna survive the entire night. So we, we've got, you know, kind of a, a bit of a habitat going now. I don't know, we're gonna need to get some some more blueprints though, because we there's there's nothing, and we need like, like living maybe? I, I, I want like, you know, a, a place to sleep. We've got a plant incubator and hydroponic shelf. We probably could throw those in there. We don't have any corridors, garages, or anything. We're going to have to unlock more blueprints. Now, this thing is not powered right now, so we're going to have to go in the old-fashioned way with the emergency manual overrides. Not going to have any lights in here, but we are at least going to be able to... We might as well make some uh, some main hab. A plant incubator? Where do we want to put these? I'm going to put these, I guess, on the first one when you walk in. So I'm going to put that there, and then I'm going to put... Um, a hydroponic shelf right next to it okay so we're not going to be using these yet we don't want to use these until it's got power to it but we at least want to have them made and I, I think we might be able to plant some plants we could even think about doing that this evening let's get both of these built all right so we've got a an incubator we can open this so i i mean we we need some we need some power, but I'm assuming that we put like our little seedlings in there and then maybe the hydroponic shelf is going to help them grow big and, and, you know, more sustainable, I, I guess. Not sustainable, but just more hardy. They're going to, you know, give us more nutrients and things to be able to survive. I do. I mean, we're, we're getting hungry again. We, we have we have seven seven food packs, so we, we've got a few days worth of food. But after that, we're going to start to get mm, uh, a bit of trouble. So that's nice. I mean, every time we collect energy from the sun, we're getting more points for electricity. We're slowly but surely going to be able to improve this over time. Look at how far that skill tree is. Uh, materials here. I'm assuming this is like mining. We haven't really started mining yet, but it looks like that. Okay, materials is where we're going to get blueprints. Let me see. We have 6.12 material points. We've got our jackhammer on three so i'm gonna bring our jackhammer out and i think i remember looking at these when we first landed i think these are our first materials that we're gonna be able to harvest these are probably like the the really basic ones so if we just do this i'm gonna see if we get do we get points for collecting materials i'm not sure i, I would assume that's how it works or maybe it's points for using materials and and recipes it says un unknown ore ready to oh oh there it is silicone ore ready to load can i pick this up i i have a piece of silicone i'm gonna go into our tech tree 6.12 we didn't get anything from that okay so maybe we're getting a little bit ahead of ourselves there but i it's, it's something in that direction i'm not sure and then we've got mechanics here so we can we can move down the mechanics tree. How do we get points for that? We've got 3.15. I mean it we, we do we have the fac if we need it. You go to knowledge fac. So for botany, we want to score points by harvesting fruits, processing them, sowing a whole field of a particular device, and of course when your plants grow. So that's gonna be nice and easy. For electricity, you score points when you produce energy, keep solar panels in good shape by cleaning them, repair electronic controller boards, or charge vehicles for materials. Score points when you build. Ah, so you have to use materials. Repair, disassemble, print, but also when you unload the rover on the crusher. And then for mechanics, when you operate heavy machinery, build using the rover's robotic arm, split rocks using the jackhammer, check the... Con oh, so we, we got mechanics XP right there, I think. I feel like it's weird that we're getting experience in, in mechanics, not materials, but we've got 3.15. If we bring this thing back out... I'm just gonna gonna break these down. This is a big rock and we get tiny little pieces of silicone. And you can see here that when we're doing it by hand, it goes from unknown ore 
to unknown ore ready to load and then you can go down to, to straight up silicone but if we when we find the the big vehicle the, the big like mars rover crawler thing in the tutorial it had us like driving around and using the loader and you can you can pick up these giant pieces and then drop them into a big crusher so i think it makes it a lot more efficient i would Im imagine we're gonna have to go find one of those i would hope that there's like a base nearby where we can find a salvaged one or maybe we're gonna build one i'm not i'm not sure dude it's already 12 21 my goodness the days fly by okay this we i wanted to do the whole rock but this is kind of taking a really long time so let me go in if we check our our blueprints or our tech tree we're at 6.65 so yes this is getting us a uh, a fairly significant amount of xp in that sense all right so for the the one with all the blueprints, it wants us to break things down. Can we just go over here and, and break this stuff down? Mars is so big. This little base is still so far away. We run out of stamina as we're running to it. I'm, I'm wondering if you if you sprint for too long, you get down to yellow stamina. And I, I bet that that kind of puts you in a bit of a bad spot using calories and things. So can we can we break these down yet? We can't scrap these yet. You need to upgrade your grinder. But we can scrap these little things. So let, let me let me check here. We're, we're starting to get this. Materials, we're at 6.12. I'm going to scrap some of these guys. And we're, we're getting packs of screws. We're getting steel plates. We're getting things we can actually use in our, our life here. Materials that we need to be able to craft. And at the same time, I think we're getting XP, which is going to unlock us more blueprints, which is going to let us build more things, which is going to allow us to scrap more things which it it just all kind of goes hand in hand right check our tech tree 8.67 beautiful okay so that's it it looks like we just need to to grind a little bit can i break you down oh that's a big boy this is gonna be nice all right i'm gonna do some grinding literally literally wow i didn't mean to do that but we're grinding i just realized if you watch the top here look at that it's showing that we're getting experience points for the materials and then every once oh there's an electricity one because we're, we're harvesting energy from the sun okay that that makes a bit more sense we're we're starting to get this thing down it's it's you know day two your boy came into this we got off the ship we had about eight hours at, at a, a nice base with all of our friends and and you know resources and oh hello he's got a charge port on him can we Oh gosh, enter? I can't enter it. Open, use, picked up a small circuit board. I think I need to fix, is the circuit board broken or is it just not charged? It says battery levels at 100%. Didn't we have a circuit board somewhere? Or we need to get, we need to get the workbench to be able to repair it. Where, how do we, how do we get the workbench? It's in electricity. We, we're, we're just gonna have to wait. So I, I, I uh, what's a PCB board? Repair damaged PCB boards. Printed circuit board. Okay. It sounds... When you pick this up and put it back in, it sounds like it's bad. So once... We're going to be able to get a, a cyber quad, dude. Once we... uh, we want to scrap these? Do these even work anymore? Do, I mean, could we have just taken over this base? It wouldn't have been, been a bad idea. Can we fix these? If I if I go to you with my blowtorch, can I fix you? No, you can only scrap. They don't work anymore. Okay, that would have been nice, huh? But I, I think once... We can't grind this object yet. Once we get uh, enough electricity for the workshop, then we should... We're going to go inside here. I, I really don't like inside. I, I don't know why. It just makes me feel like the fact that people were in here and now they're not and they're they're long gone. It, it just... It, it makes me a little uncomfortable, but... I think we are going to be able, as soon as we get our next electricity point, we're going to be able to get our workbench and then we're going to be able to take that circuit board. We're going to be able to fix the circuit board in our lab, which we now have powered. And then once we once we can fix that, we're going to be able to set up our, our cyber quad. It's going to be great. And we might have another circuit board somewhere too, but to be honest, I'm not sure. It's 3 p.m. on Friday. Boys about to get off work. Can't wait to go to the bar and hang out with the boys. Was there not something in here? I thought I remembered picking up something in here. We 100% picked up a circuit board. Where's the circuit board? Maybe it's it's too too big of a circuit board. It must be too big. 
Okay. I think for the rest of today, we're just going to grind. <clears throat> At some point, that's not going to be funny, Trev. I feel like it probably wasn't very funny to start. But we're just going to we're, we're gonna continue grinding here. It, it let me scrap it a little bit. Okay, maybe not a lot. Not going to be able to grind that. There's. Can we? Can I grind this? Yes. Beautiful. Uh, but yeah, we're, we're going to kind of work on our, our blueprints here. And then we're going to have to recharge our suit, get some more water, everything else. I, we could potentially work on planting food too. I think wouldn't be a, a terrible idea, especially before it gets too cold. Feels so bad that this place is, is just empty and, and now we're here just harvesting it for resources. This was at one point somebody's home. At one point somebody lived and worked and had dreams here of colonizing a new planet and here we are just destroying everything. I'm really surprised. I, I wish we could have just commandeered this. That We might have been able to. We probably could have just commandeered this, cleaned off the, the solar panels and, and called it our own, but we're not afraid of some good old honest work. Trying to keep an eye on the time here. It's about 420A. Um, I don't really see the sun out there. Should we? Can we scrap this stuff? Is that going to give us circuit boards or anything? We can't scrap any of that. Okay. Uh, can we scrap these? Can't really. I mean, we can, but, but. I, I, I'm getting nervous. I, I think. I think we. I think we book it. Let Let's go. Let's go try to get some food planted. Make sure that our our workshop was charged up. Make sure our suits charged up. I don't want to overstay our our welcome, dude. This place gives me the heebie-jeebies. Get me out of this thing, especially at night. No, thank you. Please go, 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 go. I, I don't know what it is. This the abandoned freaking thing. I, I'm, I want to take your ATV though. Okay. A uh, couple more boxes here. We might as let's finish the. Oh, a tablet. We like these. Ooh, we don't want to grind that. We want to pick that up. I think tablets get you a lot of XP too. Both of those down. All right. Yep. Sun's going down. We should probably... I mean, we've still got a little bit of time. We should probably pay attention kind of to, to what time of the day. So it's it's currently almost 5 o'clock. Uh, work at a, a typical 9 to 5. I think 7, seven was about when it, it rose. So not bad. That ATV would be really nice right now running across these planes. Okay, I'm going to take this out. Drop that. Let's plug our suit in. Make sure we have full battery on our suit. Dude, the suit takes a lot of battery. And it honestly takes... Uh, decent amount of time to recharge so gonna make sure we get this up to 100 percent plug this guy back in although it's not going to do us much at this point because we sun's almost down we've got a little time but it's it's like it's dark ish at 5 30 it's like you know the the shadows are getting long it's it's golden hour here so i'm going to take this out replenish our water bottle and i think we messed up yesterday because we have a couple water bottles we only have oh we have 202 bottles too so I'm going to take this out. Wait. Does it, ref does it refill the one that's currently... I thought it refilled the one that was in your inventory, but it, it looks like it refills the one that's currently selected. So we've got that there. We've got our seeds. I wouldn't mind trying to plant our seeds here. I'm a little bit nervous about planting seeds on the first night. I hope we've got enough electricity. Let's double check that. So we, we've got water. We've got electricity. We've got food in our, our thing. So we should be good for the night. If I take a look at this, we're at 151 capacity. So we're not quite going to make it. We're going to make it about 10 hours. I, maybe we don't want to. I think we might want to plant food in the morning. I think I'm going to get this up to 100%. How do we get better? Can we get better, more efficient panels? That's what we want. Industrial energy converters. Expanding the transformer with an additional two modules. Beautiful. But we need the, the industrial energy converters blueprint first. So I'm assuming we get that and materials. We can get a pump station. We can get a CO2 scrubber. Carbon dioxide filter. Turning it into oxygen. Produces CO2 cylinders. Or a small quarter. I'm going to get this. Yo. Repair kit. 3D printer. Well extension, well, a uh, well tank so we can get more water. Uh, I mean, things are eventually going to start breaking. So we want to make sure we've got lots of, of items saved up. But all that grinding really helped here. I don't, we need to plan this out, to be honest. Me mechanics is, is basically like your tools and things. But like we, I need to figure out, we need to figure out food, number one. But I, I want to figure out how to get this blueprint. Do we have to find that on like a tablet or can we get that in materials? 
I'm not sure, but we do have a CO2 scrubber now, and that's actually a pretty big deal. So let's let's test this. We'll see how this works through the night. Power out to 15. So we're, we're now working on battery power. We're still going to charge for a little bit, but at least here we can come in. We're going to be able to, you know, take a load off, take our helmet off. It's, it's warm-ish in here. We, we don't have our HUD anymore. When you, Oh, you don't have your HUD when you take the helmet off? That's actually... I'm going to see if the HUD comes back. I, I don't know how I haven't noticed that. Oh, it, it's it's first versus third person, Trev. That, I mean, that would have been cool. But it's it's one degree in here, so it's it's not comfortable, but it's it's not terrible. Let me check what we've got going on here. We've got no power going to to either of the oxygen depleted. What do you mean? Low oxygen warning? Yeah, let's let's just put our helmet back on here, Trev. I I I don't I don't. Helmet sealed. Okay. I I feel like we almost died right there, and that would have been really really bad. Do we? So we've we've got hundred and fifty seven point five power in stock. I'm going to go in living food resources, CO2 scrubber. We've got enough materials for this. So I'm going to put this over in the corner that we don't use that often. And then we sh I mean, it should, this should make, uh, we couldn't have our helmet off in here because there was no oxygen in here. Why would you? Oh shoot. We don't have the materials. What do we need? We're missing a glass plate and a small circuit board. Can we make any small circuit boards? Let, let's let's check that. All right. I don't know how cold it's going to be outside. Negative 16. We can we can work with that. Ooh, I feel like our flashlight is a little bit stronger tonight. Actually, I think the flashlight depletes your suit power. So let's try not to use that as much as we can. It doesn't super help when you can't see though. Dude, look at how beautiful it is out there. I love it. Okay. Can I make a small circuit board? I th Electronics? We need aluminum and silicone. We can make the glass plate with aluminum and silicone. We can also probably get items by disassembling things as well. I think we're going to need that that workshop bench. Okay, uh, I'm going to say let's, since we're not currently using it, let's go shut off our power. Just going to follow this little blue light in the night and hopefully that leads us exactly to where we want to go. But if, if we're not using our battery, let's just hold on to it. Really trying not to expend too much energy here, both in the form of electricity as well as, uh, that's our transformer. Wrong thing. We're going to go to this. I'm going to say zero so we're gonna keep this at 120 for the night we're gonna be able to fully charge it tomorrow um yeah i'm trying to not to use energy both in oh, expected temperature drop so the temperature drops around 10 p.m every night We've got sleep deprivation we're gonna get some rest don't you worry we're gonna be fine it was another good day but uh yeah we we have a, a bit of a plan you know we're gonna have to figure out how to get these little circuit boards i think if we're not running around all day every day using our energy we're gonna be able to not be as hungry throughout the day we are i mean food is the biggest thing tomorrow the focus is food maybe figuring out that atv because being able to get around is good and then definitely trying to figure out how to get oxygen in the uh the big warehouse although to be honest the oxygen is is pretty easy as long as this thing is is working. Forgot. So water fills the one on your person, but this one fills the one in your inventory. And I I hope we might build like a little. Let me pick this back up. Build like a little uh, what's it called? Little little solar panel outside of this because I think we can charge this. I'm a little bit worried that this thing might eventually run out of power. So. I'll see you guys in day three.